Hey guys, today is March 3rd, 2018, and this is your daily vlog number 60. Uh, I have learned a lot in the last 24 hours, and I just wanted to share some of my thoughts to you and explain what I have done. So I can't showcase it to you, but in my sales logs, I have roughly about 8 to 10 sales that were in the negative okay um actually i might have some pictures in my discord channel but you can see that about eight or nine were in the negative now looking at all this information right looking at how my bot bought all these coins i decided hey it's time for a new strategy and i'm gonna go with low bb so let me go ahead and showcase that for you guys real fast here we go low bb strategy so right now my low BB, this could be set to zero. I have it to three. Um, it's three percent in the low BB, and trailing buy is at uh, zero point one. Also, I have all max uh, buy spread at point two five as well, and I think that might be helping me out, but I'm not hundred percent sure. Uh, all my uh, buy uh, buy minimum is at two fifty, which hasn't been. Uh, I haven't changed it up too much. I'm also DCAing. So based upon what I've learned so far, DCA is sort of necessary. So, however, my DCA is a little bit different. I am at negative one, negative one, and I DCA two times with the stop loss at negative three. Okay, based based upon my bias that I had with my EMA spread strategy, I noticed that the coin does go back up. However, it just needed some time before it went back up, right? And I I want to DCA so that it does go back up, and I could get that. I could collect those profits. Um, if you look, my sale value is at 0.5. My stop loss trigger is at a negative three. So uh, there's a lot of potential for me to still lose money, but I still want to collect the data because the data is the most important thing for me right now. I need to see. I want to. I want to go tomorrow already and see what I've lost or what I've gained and see if my strategy is actually working. So this is just uh, time that I need to spend to figure everything out. Uh, so how did I look? How did I find all this information? Well, there's these indicators that I didn't know about until just recently. So if you type in EMA spread, you'll see uh, this Helmy guy. He has built these um, indicators for trading view, so you could visually see based upon the values that you have entered how the bot is buying. So, for example, uh, my EMA spread strategy is at five minute candles at the top right here. You see five minutes, and then I my slow and fast is at 24 and 10, and my spread is at negative 0.7. Okay, you can't put the trailing in here, but this sort of gives you an idea of when your bot will start trailing, right? So, all the green highlighted components is when the bot's trailing, and it's trailing, 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 and hopefully it buys here and gets out of my back, or excuse me, gets out of the. Uh, makes a purchase and you can see the gains that it has however I think my bot might have buy around at this point here okay and it might go up it might not hit it you know who knows exactly what happens right so what I did was I wanted to go ahead and just be even more picky I mean I mean I've been talking about narrowing my scope this whole time and just seeing I want to do the perfect buy, right? And so I'm going to go with the low BB strategy and do a per. I mean, I'm, it's not perfect. No, there's no such thing as a perfect strategy, but let me go ahead and show you low BB. Low BB would have made mistakes too. Look how many mistakes it would have. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Oh, right here, it might have, right? It, it might have done it. So instead of trailing it all the way, I have it maybe purchasing at this point here and maybe at this point here. So there's multiple options that it could fail, right? And that's where DCA comes in. So roughly about the d delta between uh, this component here is about 5%, okay? And I am willing to risk about only th about 2%-ish, give or take, of it, the, t the coin going down. So let's take a look at some other graphs that I've looked into. So here's another example, and this is, let's say, a potential buy opportunity for my bot. And then if you look, it, it just goes up after that point. It buys here, it might DCA, and look, it goes up. Uh, again, goes below the Bollinger Band, goes up. Let's take a look at a few other ones. Okay, so here we go. It buys here, goes up. Buys here, goes up. Buys here, goes up. And this here, uh, the difference here, if it did buy, it's a gain of 1.8%, which is I'm pretty happy with. And this is in the last 24 hours. And this is all the coins that my bot has purchased and sold it at a loss. So uh, this has gave me a lot of information. 
Uh, same thing over here, right? Let's take a look at this one. Uh, maybe not possibly this one. Yeah, maybe 1% here too. Wow, crazy, right? So things that go below the low BB at the five minute mark, everything that it's at the five minute mark that goes under the low BB with these values here look to be a promising buy option. Okay, so that's how I set up my configuration. I mean, we could go through more charts here. Uh, this is GBT. Uh, here's a bad. Here's one that's bad. But boom, a meteoric rise, and you you'll be out of that bag, right? So. Uh, there's a lot of options that I see it and potential that anytime it just goes lower than the 0 0.1 or excuse me, the 0% of the Bollinger Band, just buy the coin and just take a gamble on it and don't even really try to do trailing on it for, for, for the purposes of what I'm trying to do here. Okay. So yeah, I mean, just looking at everything. Um, going back to now. Um, so just to give you, uh, just to show you guys a little bit more information, like I said, I'm DCA. So after I buy the coin, there's going to be multiple times. So it'll drop uh, by a percentage, but I'm assuming within the, the within like couple percentage, it's going to boost up. So that's why I'm DCA. So I'm like, okay, if it's negative one percent, DCA again. If it's negative one percent again, DCA again. I'm, I'm I'll DCA really quickly, but I don't want it to be. Uh, I don't want it to be a bag under negative 3%. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and sell it. And I'm happy with these settings because what I'm trying to do is just collect data. Now, with all this being said, uh, the biggest thing that I'm having a really freaking piss off mood is that my bot, when it looks at pairs, okay, let's say right here, let's look at ADA, all right? This is the biggest thing that's ticking me off at 24547, okay? And if I look at 2547, okay, well, this one's actually really close, so I'm, I guess, okay with it. But there's multiple other coins that this value is not representing. Okay, let me see if I go take a look at nulls and take a look at uh, DGD, right? Let's see if uh, the price is close to what profit trailer is representing. So that's 9,700. Uh, da, 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 9,700. I need to show more decimal places here. So uh, this one, is that right, guys? Mm, this one's a little bit different. This one's a little bit more off. Yeah, right. There's the maybe 9,700. It's up here somewhere, but it's gone. So the 9,700, I can't find that. 289, D700. Let's look at nulls real quick. It's 301. 301. Um, yeah, the 301, it's, I guess it's sort of fair. It's, it's in here somewhere. So uh, I would like a more accurate representation. I mean, I want some really, really accurate representation, if all possible. So what I need to do is I need to get my VPS in Tokyo, where Binance servers are located. And I'll give you guys, hey, did this help me or not? And um, the way I'm going to go ahead and create it is I'm going to go ahead and create it through uh, a Linux that's provided by Amazon. So it'll be the Amazon Linux version uh, because it's probably the uh, the lowest maintenance, lowest tier, lowest usage. And if, if I use my bot for more than a year, I mean, my price is dirt cheap because the license fee is um, associated with their Amazon. It's not even Ubuntu or even Red Hat. It's Amazon's Linux server. So I'm hoping based upon that, it will be a really cheap, cheap thing. Oh, my bot just bought something. So let's go ahead and see what it bought. Possibly, did it buy something? My phone just went off. It bought DGD. It went into DCA. Let's see what happens. All right, I might have to fast forward this video, but let's see what happens. So let's go ahead and track DGD right now. DGD, BTC Binance, BTC, and then there it is, Binance. Let's go ahead and full screen this guy. So there it is. You see that uh, Bollinger Band I was talking about? This is a potential buy opportunity. Oh man, this video might last a while. <laughs> so uh, it needs to DCA. I have two options to DCA. When it hits negative 1%, negative 1%, it's going to DCA twice. And hopefully it gets out of this bag. Uh, just looking at the trend, it's looking like uh, I'm thinking it will get out of this. Easy. But we'll see. We'll see. All right. So well, my, I might have to do the little fast forward business and um, show you guys what ended up happening.
and it just bought Knowles too. So let's take a look at Knowles. It bought Knowles right now. Um, so I should be able to see it. I don't know why my phone sees that information before. Oh, God damn it. Why didn't it sell? So I might have to remove that point one, but damn, this one's coming up fat, guys. Come coming up fat. So I'm I'm sort of happy already that I'm able to showcase you two buys that it already did and it's already at a positive note. The thing that I'm a little worried about is that right there. I need to sell it without a trailing. Yeah, I need to be able to sell without trailing. That point one trailing is not it's not helping me out at all. So uh, as soon as it sees a price target above. Uh, 0 0.5 I think I'm gonna go ahead and sell it because uh, it's it's not helping me at all 0.2 yeah I'm a little disappointed there's been twice that it could have been, been a sell but it didn't sell it so um, a little disappointed right and I could have got out of these sales really quick and gained my 0.5 percentage and now that I'm holding it well I think I might have missed my opportunity let's take a look if I did yeah, it looks like I might, I don't know. We'll, we just have to wait and see. It, you know, and went below the B, the low BB line twice on this coin. And take a look at Nulls real fast. Nulls BTC Binance. Yeah, I mean, that's 1.89. I, I, I should take those profits when I can. And uh, again, this latency issue is the problem. So, I mean... Come on, coins, just sell for me so I can be very happy right now. Just sell. Sell. Okay, cool. All right, I can live with that. That's no matter what sold. You're not going to miss a sell option there. Sold. All right. I can live with that. We, we got 20 cents gain. Hey, that's positive gains, okay? So right now, anything that's a positive that doesn't go take a dip too fast for uh, too far down, I'm, I'm really happy with it. And this is going to be a sell, too. Cool. I'm pretty happy with these settings here. Um, again, the big thing for me is I need to get my uh, instances into AWS in Tokyo so I could defeat this latency problem if all possible. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. Um, I do have some coin reviews I want to talk about um, that talk about latency and how the New York Stock Exchange is all about latency. So uh, I'll get to that later. And, and uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, thumbs up, and go ahead and like the video. Thanks. Bye.